Hi guys, so today I've got a video on hair creation inside of Blender. I've had one of my viewers message me, ask me, you know, how do you create a hairdo or how do you create a hairstyle um, as game ready? So you want to go into Blender, you, know, you want to have your character set up with a hair cap. I've already sorted my hair cap out. Um, they're pretty easy to do, just, yeah, probably just look it up. Um, firstly, you want to add a plane, as I've done here, I've done eight planes. When you've got that, you go into UV editor, click image, open, and you want to go into, where is it, alpha, alpha base text bakes. That should show up here as a background image for your, um, for your UVs. When you have created a polygon or a plane, you want to size that plane so it just fits around one of these hair strands here. I'll show you what I've done with all these. Right, so what I've done is created, there, that's better. So my first polygon, or my first plane is that one. My second plane is that one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I haven't bothered to do those top ones because I didn't feel the need, but yeah, when you've done, when you set those up and put them right and, you know, measured them, um, you've then basically got a texture. You then go into one of these polygons and you go into shading and you'll see mine set up like that. The way you do that is you go into your plane, you then go into your material, you create a material using that. Then you basically apply the same material to every one of these planes. In this material, you want it as principled BSDF. You also want the blend mode and shadow mode to be alpha clip and clip threshold to be 0.329 roughly. Once you've done that, you want to add a texture, an image texture like that. You go into here and you select your alpha. Where is it? Um, yeah, you go into this one, you click alpha base text bait, like you do. Um, that will be your opacity map. So you take the color and you put it into alpha. And then if you want a color channel um, or a color to your hair, you just send that to your base color. You'd also take that out and just choose a color. Um, so I could take that out. I could generally just choose a color, you know, white, blue. You can do any of that, but I'll put all the source files, all the um, all the textures in the link. Below. Well, yeah, I'll put all the te textures into the description so you can use these um, for when you want. Um, so yeah, color channel, opacity channel, and your alpha color channel into your base color layout. And they should be fine like that. What I find is that if you go into edit preferences, you want limit size to be zero, well, to 1024. Um, it was off, but it just ran really slowly. So that's how you get the textures into your hair in Blender, just so that you can have something to view while you're sort of doing hair. So into the actual hair creation, you want these lot lined up. For your base, maybe you want to add two of them. I then just move them together to make it, you know, just so it's like a little cool hair strand um, or a cool piece of hair. Um, you, could you could even put three if you want. So let's move that just for demonstration purposes. Yeah, so there's three hair strands. You then want to join them or merge them. Um, or oh, one other thing you could do first before you do that is go into edit mode, um, loop cut, just create, um, I think eight different polys in this plane, um, so eight different sections in each plane. I think I've done it of each one of these as well. Um, so yeah, just add, add edge loops, add 
or you could put one in the middle if you want, but it doesn't really add to it. Um, yeah, so do all this. Join them. Now, once you've done that, you want to add a curve, path. You then want this curve to be lined up and you want it rotated to be the right angle. Um, so just put in the middle of those, yep. Then you want to decrease the size. That line should go through the middle of the plane or near it. You then want to go down to the modifiers in the plane, create a curve. You then want to click this button, object path to the NURBS path, whatever it's called. All right. Then when you've done that, you can rotate it, move it to the head of your character. You want to first create a, you know, simple first layer. The reason I did this is because you can then go onto your nerb or your curve, just click the nerb's path, edit mode, and as you can see, you can now shape it. So you want to create a little bit of, you know, variation to the hair, a little bit of, you know, shape to it. You can just move these paths or move the lines like that. Now, once you've done that, <coughs> you can just do that. Copy paste. You want to copy and paste the curve as well. Um, go back to edit mode. You can add more shape to this and just change the way it looks. You can generally just keep like moving these around, and making it work, and just adding to the shape of it. Um, I won't do too much of this because it's just the same over and over again, just copy and pasting, then doing the other side. The other side, you mainly want to create a strip, basically similar, um, down there, and then just blocking out on top, making sure that it works, because, yeah, it worked for me. Um, yeah, so when you've done one layer, go into that one, paste it, just get more different... Um, just get another piece of hair. Yeah, just get more hair. Um, just layer it on top. Just layering these on top, making sure you, you know, <clears throat> you get rid of the space that shows any skin. Um, you can see a bit of skin um, around this area. Just cover it up with the hair. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty easy method. Just, you know, Get all your get all your hair strands set up and as planes um, create um, create more edge loops so that you get more you know giving a base and then after you've done that base you then want to create that you know middle layer and then the top layer is going to have to be just little random pieces of hair um, yeah so as you can see I've got this new piece of hair. Um, just adding that on top as like on a top layer um, just adds a bit of variation to what the hair looks like and what you'll see this isn't the best example as I'm not going to do a full hairstyle um, I did one earlier um, as you can see you're getting a sort of hairstyle already shaped up you can then start doing the other side you can then do the top um, shape it however you want um, but this is basically a simple guide to creating hair and shaping it inside a blender um, just to make you know simple character so there was a hairstyle that i created um, earlier um, i thought it was a good good example of what you can do using this method as you can see well yeah, you can see all the polys here. Um, 
you can see the pulleys where they were set up around here. Um, that's all pretty cool. Um, then the shading, you see it's pretty well done. Um, and all this, I think, was about 860 pollies for that hairstyle. Um, you can see the fully rendered version um, in the thumbnail or put at the end of this video. So, yeah, that was a video on hair creation inside of Blender. I hope that was helpful to you guys watching. Um, if it wasn't, I'm sure there's a video out there which would be quite helpful, but yeah um i think the more videos i make the better i should be able to explain things um i'm just not very used to making videos on at the moment but hopefully in the future things get a bit better and things get you know i should be able to explain things a lot easier um so yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like um subscribe if you'd like um it does help me a lot so yeah uh, i hope this I hope this helped a lot and I'll see you in the next video.